Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, webinar on uh, digital marketing. Just um, give another minute or two for um, uh, all attendees to join us. I can see that there's quite a few of you already joining us. Um, uh, let's just wait up just a minute uh, more as I see that the number is increasing. Uh, welcome. Um, to all of you, all of you joining us from near and uh, far, I know that many of you uh, are logging in from quite far away. So, thank you for taking the time to uh, join us today, and especially those of you who are uh, uh, logging in at a very different time zone, especially if it's very early or very late in the morning where you are. Well, we might um, we might kick off now, um, and uh, just want to. As I said, extend a welcome to, to everyone. Uh, this is a very short uh, introduction to uh, our program that we run on digital marketing at Imperial College Business School. It's a program that we run now uh, a number of times and uh, it's been very successful and we're fine tuning it uh, every, every time we run it and make it even more relevant, more interesting, more timely and more innovative. Uh, just a little bit about, uh, about myself. Uh, I am the program director on um, this program and uh, I'm an assistant professor in marketing at Imperial College Business School. I'm also the director of the MSc strategic marketing program in the business school. And uh, uh, I guess my main research areas are into the role and organizational marketing within organizations. So I ask questions such as you know, what role should marketing take within firms? What does best practices in marketing look like, what are companies that are very good at marketing and use marketing to achieve a competitive advantage all have in common. So these are the kind of things that I look at and I look at it from particularly a couple of points, uh, primarily it's, it's the services point of view, the, the, the managing relationships point of view, and of course the digital marketing point of view, uh, which is one of my core areas in terms of research and teaching. Now, of course, I teach at Imperial College Business School on a variety of programs on our MBA, uh, full-time executive MBA, weekend MBA, the global MBA program, our MSc programs. And uh, I also work extensively with organizations ar around the world uh, to help them, again, uh, achieve financial value creation through customer value creation. So uh, everyone has a, a market, a set of customers that they want to create value for, and this is where I come in, helping organizations achieve those objectives. Uh, in case you're wondering what, what my weird accent is, I'm originally from Switzerland, but I've studied uh, in, uh, in Australia for a long time. I worked in Australia for a few years and then moved to the UK uh, about a dozen years ago. And I've been at Imperial College Business School now for uh, uh, about seven years. Um, now, uh, what, what, did my, what is marketing in the, uh, in the digital world? I, I guess I want to start by pointing out how much digital is shaping what we do within organizations. Uh, it, it shapes everything that we do because it represents a number uh, of forces in terms of digitization. Everything is moving uh, to digital formats, which means that uh, the internet is becoming more and more an interesting and useful and cheap place to do business. Uh, obviously, it's growing and it's shaping everything we do. Just look at what we're doing now. We're logging in from uh, all over the world. To, uh, to, to have this webinar, and this is all thanks to uh, the growth of a tool that is changing completely how we do certain fundamental things within business. Uh, now, network effects, of course, are also, are also shaping the power of the internet. It, it, digitization is a technological development. You know, networks are very much a social phenomenon, and so everything that is social that comes with it is also shaping how we do business. The separation of the economics of information from those of things, uh, um, you know, in the old days, we, we used to get information and products and services typically from the same source. You go into a shop, you ask for information, and then you decide what product to buy. Now, this isn't happening anymore. Customers are, are gathering information from a variety of sources. They're analyzing that information, and then they're able to choose the, the, the cheaper source uh, to, to purchase those products from. So this is completely changing consumer behavior, and it's changing completely how we respond to, uh, to customers. Everything is becoming, of course, more customized simply because customers like to have things that are made uh, bespoke to their needs, but also because we're able now with the digital tools that we have to our disposal uh, to actually provide that customization. 
We're also seeing the democratization of production and distribution. Everyone is a content generator and a content creator. Everyone now has the technology to create interesting stuff. But not only that, we have the technology to create stuff, but now we also have the ability to disseminate that content very rapidly, very efficiently and effectively across uh, the world. So again, this is this represents a very powerful opportunity for businesses to to create content and uh, and, and to disseminate that very easily. Also, the matching of demand and supply, of course, is changing. Now we're able not just to produce stuff, but also to find the kind of market that is interesting in our stuff and and, and to allow them to find us, for example, through search engines, uh, uh, through uh, uh, comparison sites and things like that. So why am, I, why am I summing up these forces? Because I want to make the point before we look at what we cover in this program, that really digital is transforming not just marketing, but a lot of critical strategic elements of any business. So I guess marketing is just one of the many things that is being shaped by, by, by digital. And uh, although the fundamental objectives of what we're doing, so we're still trying to create returns for our investors, to create financial performance, you know, the way in which we're doing that nowadays is changing very quickly. So the point is that if we don't keep up with these changes, if we don't take advantage of these opportunities, we lag behind. So the internet represents a great opportunity for those people and for those businesses who are prepared to learn about them, to take advantage of them, but they can also represent a massive disadvantage to those who don't. If you lag behind, you make yourself vulnerable. And I guess this was a key motivation in designing this program. We wanted to make sure that we empower those who attend this program uh, with the tools and with the frameworks, with the ideas uh, that uh, allow them to take full advantage of the internet, of digital, and other things that are available to them nowadays. Now, I should mention that, uh, by the way, if you have any questions, you know, you can feel free to type them in the chat box. The uh, You have a chat window available there. Feel free to type a question at any time. Uh, or if you want to wait until the end, you can also do that. I'll give you the opportunity to ask questions at the end. Now, how much is this growth? How pervasive is this uh, growth of digital? Well, in the UK alone, as you can see here, and I can show you data from a variety of countries, but it was showing you my, my, my home market here. As you can see, digital has overtaken now any other channel, for example, in ad spending. This happened about um, about four years ago when, when digital overtook television. Television was always the, the key driver behind ad spending. Now organizations are pouring a lot of money into into digital communication. And this particular channel is growing rapidly. So it's still the main uh, driver of growth in terms of ad spending. So more and more money is being poured into digital communications. Um, why is that? Well, I think fundamentally we, we can all guess why, because that's where customers are going. So if your customers are going online, uh, we want to follow them with our messages, with our, our, our efforts to build relationships, with efforts to engage them. So it's just a, a response to, to, to what is happening in the market from the point of view of consumer behavior. I also suspect that to some extent this increase in marketing spending online is also perhaps symptomatic of the fact that companies are pouring a lot of resources into this channel. Uh, but they're not quite sure what they're doing with it because there's still very limited science behind what we're doing online. You know, advertising research uh, or, or anything like that has been around for a very long time. We know what works in traditional TV advertising because we've been researching it since the 1950s or so. With digital, that's a different story. We don't quite know what works. Uh, we know that it's important. We know that it's growing rapidly. So there's an element, if you want, of desperation around companies that just pour money into every single opportunity that they have in terms of digital without knowing quite what is going to work and what is it. Um, that's because um, the evidence uh, behind the effectiveness of, ch of certain channels 
and the results of, uh, of investments in these channels are still quite vague, it's still quite anecdotal. Uh, you know, when we hear about the success of certain tactics, often they come from one or two organizations that have been good at it, and you know, the sample size of one or two is never quite useful. So what we know is that there's a lot of money being put into digital, it goes into things like display advertising, pop-ups, those kind of things, into video marketing. It's been growing quite rapidly over the last few years. Um, games advertising, and of course, mobile is now one of the key areas of growth, and of course, social media marketing. And these are some of the, 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 the key targets, if you want, for investments uh, from organizations that are moving their ad spending from offline channels to um, digital channels. Um, now, we, in the program, we are looking at many of these um, uh, areas in terms of digital. We look at what works, what doesn't, what the different opportunities are within each of these, uh, uh, these ways of connecting with customers. And uh, as I will point out, we're going to try and give you a view of what works and what doesn't in both a practical and scientific sense. In other words, what, we, what we're going to teach in this program is backed up with evidence. It's not anecdotal, it's not based on the evidence or experience of one person, but it's based on uh, research within the business school and, 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 and in management and, and marketing in more broadly, uh, in order to give you a scientific view of what really works and what doesn't. What our research is showing is that although there is a lot of uh, shift of money away from traditional uh, marketing channels to the uh, yeah, new digital channels. Uh, a lot of managers we, we find in, in our studies are still confused and potentially anxious about digital. Um, and what we find is that there's this sense that there is an opportunity out there and unless you, you tap it to its, uh, to its full potential, you're losing out. So that's often what happens when you have a target that is moving very quickly. We want to make sure that we hit that target, but you know, we don't know exactly how to do it. And that's really what we find with a lot of the managers that we work with, uh, with a lot of the uh, organizations that we study in our research. So again, uh, the, the program on digital marketing at Imperial College Business School is designed uh, to target uh, those who might be a little bit anxious about you know, what, what, what can I do? What can I, what can I take advantage of? What are the opportunities available to me? Or, or those of you who might simply be looking for some novel, interesting, fresh, and potentially ch uh, challenging ideas in terms of taking advantage of digital. Now, I guess one of the things that we have to understand is that just because digital is allowing us to build relationships with customers, it doesn't necessarily mean that customers want to build a relationship with us. And that's fundamentally uh, mistake that we often make. We often assume that our customers are interested, they want to learn about us, they pay attention to, to, our, to our efforts, you know, they go online, they research us, if, if you give them engaging experience or great content, you know, they'll read it, they'll, they'll pass it on, they'll share it. Uh, but you know, these, kind of, these kind of assumptions that customers are interested in what we do, and, and fundamentally the assumption that just because we can build a relationship, they you know, want to be responsive to that relationship building efforts, it's quite simplistic. So we have to drop this assumption that it's that you have an engaged audience to start with, that it's easy. Uh, one of the primary things that we need to do through digital is really break through this apathy to realize that no, customers are not really interested. They don't go on social media to talk about us. They, um, they, they're not you know, happy to respond positively to any uh, customer relationship management initiative. And you know, typically when they do interact with brands, they do so because they want to gain something personal, like a discount uh, or, or some immediate benefit. So they're not so much relationship or brand oriented, but they're self oriented. And um, and also, in, 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 I guess, in, in fighting this customer apathy, we we fell many times victims of this 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 tendency to give customers more and we'd offer them complexity and, and stuff that really you know, taps into any potential opportunities that there is in the market. But what the evidence is actually showing us is that in this world of increasing complexity, what customers actually need, what they crave for, is actually more simplicity. It's, it's something that meets their specific needs very well, makes their life easier, and, and, and just, and just uh, creates customer value in a simple way. So these are some of the, the things that we're going to talk about. How do we actually achieve that? 
how do we penetrate through these barriers that customers erect when faced with so many channels of communication, so much noise, so much clutter, and, uh, and then pay attention to what we've got to say. So how do we engage them in a meaningful way through digital channels that are available and actually make them care? And that is fundamentally a very important question that we can answer through digital digital channels. And, uh, and so what are the objectives of this, this program? Well, it's firstly to deal with this customer empathy. Uh, as, I, as I said, making customers care is the first step. And then understand some of the key forces and trends that shape digital marketing. What, what is digital marketing really about? And what are the opportunities that it really affords us in terms of meeting customer needs? So it's about strengthening your market management competencies in a, in a world that is increasingly more digital, more about networks and, 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 and the internet. And, uh, and, and, and just to allow you to master the language of digital and keep up with some of the latest ideas, latest trends, latest developments in the area. Really fundamentally is about keeping up with what is going on out there in the digital world. So that you'll be given a number of tools a uh, number of frameworks, a number of uh, ways in which to, to become a more effective um, digital uh, marketer. So these are the primary objectives. And, 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 and I guess I should, I should point out that it, it is targeted to people with varying degrees of uh, experience and familiarity with digital. So we've had people on the program that are rather familiar uh, with digital, they might uh, have digital uh, roles within organizations as you know, managing the digital side of things, and others that have come in with, uh, with, with less experience and they're just more interested in, in, in learning the, the fundamentals. And, and the program is targeted at both in the sense that there, there will be something uh, that will uh, create value regardless of your level of expertise and competencies and previous experience uh, with, with digital. So it's targeted really at mid or upper level managers, anybody responsible for development or implementing digital marketing. So if you, if you have influence on the digital marketing strategy of your business in any way, whether you are in a consumer business or in a business to business organization, this is for you. Uh, as long as you have some kind of impact on it. Uh, it's also, we've also had a number of entrepreneurs on the program and, and, and business managers that are just wishing to, to, to develop a, broad, a broader and deeper understanding of what is going on uh, in terms of digital marketing. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and anyone really who's looking for some fresh ideas, for something um, that allows you to, to, to understand a little bit, okay, what are companies doing out there? Uh, what are some interesting things that are happening in the digital landscape and, uh, and what does that mean for me? So anybody who's keen to reflect on these opportunities, take advantage of them and, uh, and, and, and keep up with uh, what is going on in that, that, in, in that area. So this is the typical program outline. So we meet over two days at uh, Imperial College Business School. And um, we have typically four speakers on, on the program. I usually open the program uh, by providing an introduction to the module, an overview of digital. And, and we really look at fundamental concepts, uh, trends, ideas in digital marketing in the first morning. And what does it mean for marketing strategy and tactics? So the morning is usually an opportunity for me to introduce some of the key concepts in digital marketing and how it's shaping businesses, how it's shaping uh, marketing. And we're going to look at some of the latest research. We're going to look at uh, some of the latest uh, scientific ideas in digital, things that are backed up with solid evidence. Now, one of the things that I think is particularly important about this program is that we're also going to have um, uh, people who have a great experience from the practical point of view. So you're going to be exposed to both uh, Imperial College uh, Business School academics, uh, but also uh, external lecturers that are practitioners. So, for example, Daniel Rao is our, one of our external or adjunct professors. And uh, while I cover some of the, the, the key theories and concepts in the morning, he comes in and extends this in a more hands-on practical way. So we're actually going to fire up the computer, we're gonna go online, we're gonna go and have a look at some of the, 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 the tools that, that are available to use. Uh, and, and, and Daniel is going to cover uh, topics to do with content marketing and social media. So we're going to look at, you know, how do we provide content that is at the intersection of what the brand wants to tell people 
and what people are interested in. So what and when to provide enough content and social media strategy. We're going to look at how we map the user journey. Uh, we're going to get our hands dirty a little bit with SEO and, um, and other measurement tools and, 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 and digital analytics. And um, I guess the point of the afternoon here is also to uh, give you uh, some very hands-on tool. Things are immediately available to you uh, to use to use um, uh, digital digital tools uh, that are available. Uh, on the second day, we'll be joined by uh, Katarina Sismera, uh, who is also an internal faculty of the uh, business school, and she will really talk about how do we use digital to reach customers. So it's about uh, online communications, online distribution. Again, looking at some of the latest ideas, challenges, and opportunities. So again, from from a, a perspective of someone who has researched these issues in, in some depth over the last few years. In the afternoon, we'll be joined by another adjunct professor, uh, Jaka Lestek, who is a, uh, also a, a, a very experienced uh, practitioner, the CEO of a, a company incubator, and with a lot of experience in, uh, in digital marketing, and he's going to talk about digital growth marketing. And I guess the, the point here is that, you know, we're often obsessed about products, uh, but often what really matters is the kind of customers that we attract. So we're going to look at how do we use digital to attract the right kind of customers, and then how do we use digital to retain those customers. So we're going to talk about scalable targeted revenue, user acquisition, customer engagement, customer retention, and things like that, again, using uh, digital channels. So what we have really here in, 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 in terms of how the program is designed is that it's really designed to take advantage of our assets within Imperial College Business School. When you come to us, you're joining one of the world's best universities. Uh, you'll be based uh, at the, uh, the, uh, the Imperial College Business School campus, and you'll be taught by Imperial College faculty and also by some of our external faculty. Why do we do that? Why do we use this, um, these resources? We do so because we are really, uh, keen to provide an education that is both scientifically rigorous. So the kind of stuff that we do here is backed up by evidence, by science, by data. But also we want it to be managerially relevant and hands-on and practical. So I think we are unique in the sense that we are able to provide something that is at the intersection of both of those two things. You, uh, there's often the tendency in these programs to be either too theoretical or, 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 or a little too, um, too practical with little, uh, little backing up of ideas and, and frameworks. So we try to achieve both of those things, and I think that's what makes this, this program particularly uh, unique. Uh, we look at marketing from a holistic point of view, and, 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 we, and what we do is, is relevant to whether you come from a big established organization or whether you're part of, a, of an early stage uh, company or a startup. Uh, so it's, the relevance really is applicable to, um, to anyone. We are going to look at a lot of case studies, a lot of examples of, from different companies. We uh, always keep the, um, the, the teaching up to date with some, some of the latest yeah, stories and examples, etc. So you'll be exposed to a lot of practical ideas and how companies have done really interesting things in, in, in digital. And, uh, and, and importantly, our learning environment is very uh, interactive. We, we, every, every time we spend time looking at a concept or an idea, there's plenty of opportunities then to apply in workshops, discussions, engagement around these ideas. So very practical. And I should say, uh, from, from the, 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 the past uh, times that we run this program, it's always a very fun, engaging class environment. So uh, I think it's very, very important to create an environment that is collaborative and, and enjoyable. And, uh, and that's what we, what we aim to do here. So the two days, uh, they really fly, they're full of interesting novel ideas. Uh, uh, you, you'll find that it's intellectually stimulating and rewarding, but also a lot of fun, and also an opportunity to network uh, with, with people and, uh, and, of course, to become part of the uh, Imperial College uh, family uh, in, in a way. So that's, that's all I, uh, um, I wanted to, to, to share with you about, about the program. Um, as I said, you can type any questions in, in, in the window that you have in front of you, but of course I've, I've also put my email address up here. Uh, and if you have any questions at all now or, uh, or after the, uh, the webinar, by all means, please feel free to get in, get in touch and we'll be answering uh, your, your questions. Um, 
I guess I guess that's it. That's it from me. We have a few a few minutes. Um, and we'll wait to see whether there's any questions in the um, in the chat uh, in the chat window. Um, looking at yeah, I don't see anything. But uh, otherwise, if you're logging off, um, I, I thank you very much for 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 your time and for for joining us today. Of course, this was a very very quick. Uh, uh, introduction to, to the program. There's a lot, obviously, of depth and, 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 and to the material that we cover, and um, and of course, I've, I've only tried to give you a little bit of a snapshot to hopefully uh, entice you to join us and uh, to spend a couple of days uh, doing something really interesting and valuable uh, that will will equip you with some very powerful and, and, and important tools to deal with digital marketing in the future. Um, let me see if there's any. There is a question in the question box. The problem is I cannot see the question box. Um. Hi, I'm Tanya here. I work um, in the marketing of the program. Um, we've yeah. had a we've had a question from um, an attendee from the webinar um, who wants to know more about um, influencer marketing and how that fits into digital advertising. So I don't know yes, if you want uh, to briefly um, just maybe comment on that. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's definitely something that we um, we will talk about. So it's something that we cover particularly uh, when uh, uh, when Yaka is going to talk about growth marketing and, and so using uh, word of mouth, opinion leaders, uh, just influencers uh, to to generate um, uh, customer acquisition. Uh, but also it's something that we talk about particularly on, on day one with um, Daniel uh, when he talks about social media marketing. Uh, so we do talk about influencer marketing in the program. Any other questions uh, from anyone? Okay, well, uh, if you do come up with any other questions or if you want to find out more, um, like I said, this was a very quick introduction. If you want to know more about a specific topic, for example, you, like, like the last question that we just had where one of, one of you asked, you know, are you going to cover influencer marketing? If you have any other questions about that, are you going to cover this or that? Please do let me know and I will let you know exactly whether, whether, whether and how uh, some of these um, uh, concepts and ideas are covered. Please do get in touch. And uh, otherwise, I thank you very much for your for your time. I do hope to see as many of you as possible uh, the next time we run this program. And to and I look forward to welcoming you to Imperial College Business School. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good morning or evening wherever you are. Thank you. <laughs>